Rosette making is an art that's been passed down from artisan to artisan for centuries. Until now, there has been very little information available about how to actually produce these beautiful works of art. Recently, I asked luthier Bill Nessie to share his knowledge of rosette making with my guitar building students. The result was a classical guitar rosette making masterclass taught by Bill over the course of four weeks. Students learned how to design, make, and install the rosettes. Everything from tools and materials and how to use them to execute a final product was addressed in great detail. I videoed this masterclass and am making it available to anyone who has ever wanted to learn the art of rosette making. Here are some sample lessons from the course. All of you should have received uh, a packet of material that includes a materials list, some instructions for making the uh, veneer thicknesser, and instructions for making the circle cutter. So let's uh, talk about the materials we need to build a rosette. The first one that we have to have is some kind of a work board. The shooting board makes it real easy to square up and smooth the edges of some of our work pieces. Right, a highly figured wood. So that's how this thing works and you can see you can just peel off extremely thin shavings from that. A word about uh, saving yourself a little time. If you notice that column and that column are identical. Okay, we're going to talk about uh, how we make this type of a herringbone pattern. Uh, there's also a rope pattern and a wheat pattern that we can make, and they're all made in basically the same way. Okay, uh, this pattern here is a herringbone. It consists of uh, a dark pattern or a dark veneer alternating with a white veneer. And here we have a rope type pattern. It's got uh, actually four different colors of veneer. We've got purple heart uh, and then two different light color woods, uh, maple and cherry. So what I have here are two identical stacks of veneer organized in the correct sequence, white, three darks, white, three darks, and so forth. Each of them has four repeats. So I've got a total of 16 pieces of veneer and everything else gets, except for the outside pieces, gets glued on both sides to make sure we have no dry spots. After making the columns needed for the tile log based on your design, Bill is now going to show us how to slice them and glue them together to make the log. Okay, we now have a dozen of these uh, slabs of different pieces of veneer glued together. We now need to cut off of each one of them a little slice about a millimeter thick. Before we can do that, we have to uh, clean up the one edge here so we have a nice clean edge on that. And we do that on the shooting board. Okay, what we've done to set up the bandsaw is first we put a piece of uh, a thin material, in this case it's a little composition board, and take a slice off of each of these, thin them on the uh, veneer th thinner, and then glue them together to form our log. As each of these strips gets a little thinner, you have to exercise just a little extra caution and pulling them through that you don't break them. Okay, so that's what the pattern looks like in cross-section. Uh, after you put all the little pieces together, you can see whether you actually have a design you like and whether you got the right pieces sliced off and in the right order. This started out like so. We cut it down the middle. We now fold them in on each other and put the uh, cleaned up side to the middle where you're gluing and that gives you your herringbone pattern. In this case I'm going full depth all the way around. So we just cut that out like so. And now you gotta ask yourself, okay do I really have this thing in the right orientation? Am I putting it in the right way in? Lever it in there and one of the things I've discovered if you're not careful yeah, and the key is you have a lot of pieces together, so they support each other. Yeah. So a single, like that, if I tried to bend that uh, rope pattern around by itself, it would not go. But because you have material on both sides of it, it goes quite easily. And getting this first tile in is usually the pain in the... Yeah, that one. <laughs> that was great. As you can tell, the course is very thorough, allowing anyone with the desire and some patience to make professional looking rosettes for your guitars. I hope you enjoyed the course 
and the information made available here.